Whoa! Thanks to all for watching this video and in this video I would like to show you the procedure to solve all the questions of final assessment of intermediate one week five. So go for it. So well, here's the question. And to solve this question, we have to download this C2 week five assessment workbook. And I have already downloaded this, so I'm just going to open it, okay? And now bullet editing to find this one, okay? So is the supplier phone number data O3 to P10 in a table? So first uh, O3 to P10, okay? So just uh, go to O3 to P10, select this. No, it's not in a table. If it is in a table, then you will see that here is a another table tab and the name will be here, okay? Table, and there is no. So the answer is no, okay? So now, convert the discount code data O13 to P15 to a table. So I'm just uh, O13 to P15, okay? Just select this and make it table by control plus t okay my table has headers okay obviously stick and select okay fine now you see this table one because it is a table and there is a table two okay so add a new record directly below the table as follows course c 15 percent okay so just put and it will include in the table so 15 percent the standard is okay then what they want to know and what is the corrected average discount percent shown in p19 okay so just uh, go to the value for p19 and here it is just copy it and paste it down okay don't enter the percentage symbol okay fine so i'm just going to remove it convert the homeware inventory table uh, data to a table and apply the table style white and table style light 18 okay so turn off branded row and turn on branded column okay and which of the following most closely resembles your table so i'm just uh, going to select all so control a select all and again control t for make it table and my table has headers okay so I'm just going to change the style here, okay? So table style 18, uh, table style light 11, 17, here is the 18, okay? Just click it. And they want turn off banded row and turn on banded column. So I'm just uh, turn off banded row and turn on banded column, okay? So here it is now how it looks like and no color okay fine so no color but it is branded row this is not branded row no this is not okay this may be branded row branded column no row and okay fine no branded this is the answer okay branded column and white color okay this is the answer and uh, turn on the total row and change the calculations for the retail price column to calculate the average retail price and what is the average retail price so fine so i'm going to select table total row and just go to the end and retail price and change it to average okay so here it is just copy it and paste it down okay and then in uh, the in stock column displays the number of item in stock for each product okay and using the total row to add a calculation how many items are currently in stock for all products so how many items okay so in stock i'm going in stock and just sum this all okay so the answer is this one just copy it and paste it because it's how many item okay and just use some function okay and then you have been informed that there may be duplicates in the data and use the remove duplicate tools to remove any duplicate entries okay fine and what is the corrected average retail price okay corrected average retail price so don't put any 
dollar symbol so just uh, go in here and we can remove two figures in two ways or many ways can be or uh, uh, what is it uh, just uh, we can use conditional formatting again we can use this remove duplicate tool okay so in this case we are going to use uh, this remove duplicate tool and i'm going to use it okay so let's see first uh, select this product code okay and then go to the data tab and you will find in data tools remove duplicates okay just click it and my data has headers okay and unselect all just tick product code okay and three duplicate values found and removed and 51 unique value removed okay just okay and now what happened in average equal price corrected average equal price okay so just go to the go down and average retail price is this one just copy it and paste it okay then you will uh, you need to find out which products need reordering most urgently okay fine and sort the data by the column in stock from smallest to largest and enter the full product code uh, for the product as smallest number in stock okay just uh, go to in stock and use filter to smallest to largest and this one is zero so we need to reorder this okay and the product code is just a uh, hard uh, uh, zero one five just copy it down and paste it here okay so now you are doing an audit for products uh, supplied by the company uh, castrel and filter the data by the supplier castrel and what is the updated value for the total number of items in stock now okay so just uh go to supplier castrel just uh, deselect all and select just castrel and okay and total stock okay so they wanted to know the total number of items in stock now so in stock is a 1566 just copy it and paste it here okay fine uh, clear uh, the filter on supplier and add a new filter to get the top five percent of stock items by retail price okay fine and what is the average retail price uh, for these items okay and don't enter the currency symbol of the fine so go to here and remove all the filters okay go to home tab and sort and filter just clear okay and here it is now add a new filter to retail price okay so just uh, select this and go to conditional formatting just uh, stop bottom row stop 10 percent so i'm just uh, going to change it five percent okay and okay just okay fine now sort by color sort automatic okay filter by color very simple so just uh, going to change it average and here is the answer just copy it and paste it here okay and remove all the signs okay? then clear all filters and turn on the total row okay and in the first uh, empty row and add the following record okay fine so remove all filter retail price all clear okay fine so now i have cleared all filters and go to design remove total okay and enter a new data okay just uh, copy this down and paste it here okay
Copy it down. Now, what they want to know is uh, turn on the total row back on to find and what is the updated average retail price. Okay, so I'm going to design tab again and total row. Okay, and just updated average. Okay, and here's the answer. Just copy it down and paste it here. Okay. And remove the dollar sign and submit this. Wow, it's hundred percent okay. Thank you once again.